Joseph Parker, September the 9th, uh, 24th rather, he fights Joe Joyce at Sunday the 25th in New Zealand. 6 foot 6 is Joe Joyce, 14 and 0 is record, 13 by KO. Never been over 12 rounds, though, he's 36 years old. Joseph, thanks for joining us. December last year, that was Chisora's second time you fought, been training, working out with Tyson Fury. So tell us about that, mate. Yeah, listen, I've locked in the fight, which is great. It's great to lock in the fight now and have a date in the venue, opponent. And I've been here in the UK, um, you know, two weeks or three weeks before we locked in the fight. So I've been spending a lot of time here in Morecambe Bay, um, where Tyson lives. And he's very, been very generous to myself and Lee and our team, giving us a gym to use and house to rent and giving us this whole team to, you know, to prepare well for the fight that I have coming up. And he's been around and obviously he leaves Andy and myself to do what we need to do in terms of work and combinations and fitness and conditioning. But it's always good to have him around because he's got this good, positive energy, a lot of knowledge behind him. He's uh, He always shares his thoughts uh, when he sees things that he thinks we should be trying. So it's real. It's good. You know, the whole camp is great. I flew in a chef from the US to cook all the meals. And uh, I think this is going to be the best camp that uh, I'm going to be involved. I'm going to make it the best camp. No, I love hearing you sound so positive, man. It's excellent to hear. Really good. You no, know, it's a, everything is positive. You know, I said uh, I had one camp with Andy for the first Chisora fight, which was a good camp. Then I had the second camp, which was for the second Chisora fight, which is a better camp. Now this camp, I'm going to make it a great camp. Okay, Tyson Fury. Just you know, look, everything about him is so unorthodox. The way that he boxes, or or or, or do you not agree with that? You know, I mean, do you, do you, do you think that that might be just a kind of a myth that the rest of us think about because he's so tall and he's so lanky and the and kind of the style that he brings. Listen, because he's so tall and he's, he's lanky, he's the tallest heavyweight out there with the longest reach. So he is quite unorthodox in that sense. But in terms of boxing, he's got really natural, good natural boxing ability. And one the, one of the best things about him is that he's got the biggest and the best engine of any fighter that I've ever come across um, in my life. So he can go, he can just continuously keep going and keep going, keep going. And when people are tired, he just keeps, keeps going. Yeah, so, you know, just is, is that, where does that come from? Is that just a natural physiological thing or is it the training and the type of training that he's done? I think it's it's all part of the, it's, 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 a, it's a combination of things. Obviously, the training that he's done back in the day and he's, um, you know, he's changed with the training nowadays is to, to suit him a bit better. But also because of, uh, he said to, to me that his lungs are, as, are bigger than a normal person's lungs and he can take in a lot more oxygen and and you know I can definitely tell because we're in the gym training together it's a different you know he's got a, he's you know when you, imagine punching a bag and you can punch it really good for 10 rounds and then you're tired mm-hmm. well his tiredness doesn't doesn't even kick in until it's like the 15th or 20th round wow Joseph Parker is with us getting to fight um, Joe Joyce his record is 14 and 0 talk to us about him Joseph he, Joe Joyce, was a, an Olympic medalist, and he's got an undefeated record, very strong and tough, hasn't been defeated, comes forward, got a great engine, throws a lot of punches. And a lot of people do underestimate him because of their, because they say he's a slow fighter, but, but he's very, um, it's, it's sort of like he punches, but you think it's slow, but it's not slow. So we've, we've brought him the best sparring partners we can to prepare for this style that he brings, and he's never tasted defeat before, so I yeah. want to be the first person to give him that. And hand it to him. Six foot six as well in the old metrics. So what's that? It is about two meters tall or something like that. So he's got a height advantage over you, mate. He's got a height advantage, reach advantage, reach advantage. Yeah, but he's never gone twelve rounds before. Right. So I think in terms of experience, I have I have more experience. And not he's fought a lot of people in his amateur days, and he's fought you know some good professional fighters, and he's undefeated. But he hasn't been twelve rounds yet. So this is going to be a good test for him. To see, obviously he's got a good engine, but see if he can go twelve rounds and see if he can handle because he's never been in with someone like me before. Because what you're aiming to do, and I'm putting words into your mouth here, Joseph Parker, with this on the platform, is that you know you're gonna you're gonna hammer him, you're gonna hammer him, and and you're good at going twelve rounds, but but you need to bring the the um the uh, put down, don't you? Because that's what you've been talking about in previous fights is bringing that, knocking him down. I, listen, every fight you want to go into, you want to knock them down. You want to knock them down, you want to knock them out. And that's the best result ever. But you train to fight 12 rounds if you have to go 12 rounds. But my goal is to go in there, right, put a beating on him and to show him that there's 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 levels to this and there's, there's, there's a reason why I have a lot more experience than he does. That's what, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. 
There's talk of the winner of this fight being a leading challenger for a title fight. Do you get that far ahead of yourself, Joseph, or are you just in camp focusing purely on this? You focus purely on this fight ahead because, you know, I beat Joe Joyce this time. I'm locked in for a rematch clause. Right. which means I have to fight him again in December. I beat him again, then I'm open to fighting for world title, being mandatory for WBO. But all of that stuff doesn't matter unless I beat this guy. So my full focus is on this guy and him only. Okay. Did you take time out to watch Usyk versus Joshua? Most definitely did. I think a lot of people were tuned in to watch their fight. And mm. it was, listen, it was for me as a boxing fan and, and being part of the boxing you know, heavyweight division, it was a great, it was a great fight for me to watch. Um, it just showed that Joshua made a lot of improvements, but Usyk ultimately was the better skilled fighter with his movement and angles and speed. And you know, he's he was he was able to show that the first win over Joshua wasn't a fluke, and he's here to stay. Yeah, just looking at that fight, you know, after you fought Anthony Joshua, I mean, what did you gain from it? Because you're exactly right. The technical side of Usyk, I think, was really impressive. Did you think the same? Very, very, very impressive. You know, to be able to to move like that and to avoid getting, you know, punched hard and to, to, to create those angles for 12 rounds is not an easy thing to do. So he was able, you know, his conditioning was superb, his skills were superb, and he put it all together and put on a great performance. All right, mate. So this is coming up in September the 24th. I can't wait for this. How's the family and everything? Do you have everyone around you? No, family's good. Family's back in New Zealand. Okay. Fam- parents are back in New Zealand. Wife and kids are back in New Zealand. I'm here you know, to focus purely on this fight, give it everything I have. And then uh, once I come back with the win, I'll come back and see the family and enjoy some, you know, some downtime. Okay. Take care of business, brother, won't you? Thanks so much, brother. Thank you.